Hi, I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, and this is Fun With Photos. In this episode of Fun With Photos, I want to talk about albums. Remember when you used to have to get prints made and you would take your best prints and you would put them in albums like these. So I have a ton of these. Notice that this one is labeled 1988. This one is 88, 89. And this one is Cozumel 1990. So I did make dated albums, usually once or twice a year, and then albums for special events and trips. So it's very easy for my old photos. If I want to find a picture of my life in 1988, I just go to the shelf, pick up this album, and open it up and find the picture I'm looking for. Now, how does that work when you're taking all digital photos and storing them in Google Photos? I'm going to show you how I use albums in Google Photos, and I guarantee you there's some fun. In Google Photos, I still make albums. In fact, I make a lot of them. I still make dated albums, but I'm taking so many pictures these days, and it's all just so easy that I make an album for every month. So for example, here is 2024 February, and here is 2024 January, and here is 2023 December. But notice there's a lot of other albums in between. There are albums for, for trips, for projects, and edit examples. It's for my teaching. I make albums for lots of different reasons. I'm going to show you how I find a picture just from a monthly album. I also want to show you how I still like to have physical books as well. So here is one that says 2019 yearbook. I made this of an album of the whole year of photos from 2019. Or this one just of our Australia New Zealand trip. Or this one from 23 that we went to London. And the real fun, I think, is having my photos displayed all the time on this photo frame portion of my Google Nest Hub. I'll show you how I do that. First, I want to show you how I make one of my monthly albums, and then I'm going to back out and show you how to search for them. So let's say that March has now begun, and I will pick, I say, oh, I really like this picture from our walk around the neighborhood, and I really like this picture, and I want to start my March album. I click plus and album, and new album. Now, there's a reason you have to come up with a system for your naming. I do it by typing the year, 2024, and then a dash and the number of the month. And then, oops, I'm talking about March, aren't I? <laughs> and then I type out the month. Now, there's a reason I do this. You'll see that when I get to search. And that's it. I'm done. I click the check mark and my March album has begun. Now, when I want to add more pictures to my March album, I just open it or select it. You select it and click the plus, or you open it and click the three dots and add to album and 202403 March. Okay. Now, when I look at my albums, I'll see March, and there are those three photos. Now, it's actually not March yet, so I'm going to delete this album and show you that it does not delete the pictures. So there's Lobster on the Grill, Me and Jim, and Palm Trees. I click the three dots and delete album and delete. So the 2024-03 March album is now gone, but if I go to the photos, those photos are still there. The album is just a container of links to the actual photos which are in your library. And conversely, if I had deleted a picture out of the library, it would have been gone from the album. 
Now a little bit about searching. So we went scuba diving in the Cayman Islands in 2018, and I know I made an album out of that, so I want to search for it. Now, there's a big difference between typing Cayman Islands and just pressing enter. If I type Cayman Islands and press enter, or even just Cayman, it's going to show me every picture I've ever taken that is related to Cayman Islands. And notice there's a lot of similar photos because I take two or three anytime I take one. I never take just one. So this is not a good way to look at my photos. I want to find the album. Here's how you do it. You just type Cayman and then stop. Notice that there are suggested responses here. 2018 came in diving and this little icon stands for an album. That's what I want. So this does not have all those similar photos. It just has my best. It even has some text in it to tell the story of our trip. So now, how do I find one of those monthly albums? Let's say I want to know what we were doing in, you know, right after that trip. So August of 2018, I know that I made an album and remember my system. My system is 2018. And this is showing me calendar entries. If I click on August 2018 right here, I am going to get every photo taken in that calendar month. That's not what I want. I want my album. So all I have to do because of my system is type a dash. Now I'm getting all of the albums. Notice the different icon. And I can click on 2018-08 August and now I am seeing the monthly album. Oh, and I even included maps in this one. Oh, that was a pretty cool month. <laughs> Garden of the Gods, Colorado. Now, I developed this system many years ago. If you wanted to start it now, it would be a lot of work to go back through all the years, but maybe you could just make one for each year. If you use favorites, let me show you how you can do that. You can just search for, let's say your photos go back to 2018, 2018. And if you search for favorites, the section at the top where it says most relevant is something new. I'm not going to go there. I am just looking for the favorites from 2018. So instead of the thousands of pictures from the year, it just has maybe a couple hundred. You could select the last one, scroll back up to the top, and shift click. I have now selected 104, and I can add that to an album for the year then you could start today with your monthly albums if you so desired or quarterly or or yearly then what let's say reviewing my album from the cayman dive trip was so great that i decide i want to print a book from it so let's find that album again 2018 cayman diving and you just click this little shopping button order photos photo book There you go. You click next, you give it a credit card number, and you now have a book with every photo from that album. Now, if you want to customize it a bit, there's plenty of things that you can do in this book, but you don't have to. You just click next and choose whether you want the soft cover or the hard cover. Give it a credit card number and an address, and you get your book. And lastly, how did I set up the photo frame to show my albums. If you've never done this before and you have a Nest Hub, it will be showing pictures from a stock photo library, not your pictures. You first have to make sure that your hub is set up in the Google Home app. 
that's a whole other topic. But what, if it is set up, then there's a way to select albums for the photo frame feature. This needs to be done on a phone. Let me show you how. So in Google Photos, it's under Library and Utilities and it's down at the bottom, Manage Photo Frames. So when you get to Photo Frames, if it's set up in the Google Home app, you should see this one is called My Office Display. We have lots of them around the house. You add your photos and you find the album that you want. Now here is where we run into a problem. There is no search here and I have a ton of albums. So I can't stand to scroll back and back till 2018. I have a little workaround for this. I think it's awful that there is no search here from Google, but there's not. So what you do is you go to your main photos search and I search for that album. Cayman Island Diving. And now if I just make some change to it, it will become a current album. So I edit album and I just, you know, move one photo in front of another and save. Now, when I go back to the library, utilities, manage photo frames, and add your photos, Cayman Islands is now on top because it is a recently touched album. I turn that on and done. And in a minute, we will see the Cayman Island pictures. Now we're seeing the Cayman Island scuba diving pictures on my photo frame on my Google Nest Hub. Isn't that fun? I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, and this was Fun With Photos.